In this video, let's write the code to find the Cartesian product of two sets. In replet, in index.js, let's begin by defining the function signature. Function Cartesian product, parentheses, and curly braces. The function will have two parameters, array1 and array2, which represent the two sets whose Cartesian product we need to find. For example, if array1 is equal to 1, 2 and array2 is equal to 3, 4, 5, then the Cartesian product will be 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 2, 3, 2, 4, and 2, 5. Now, what we need first is an array to store the ordered pairs. So within the function body, const result is equal to an empty array and return the result at the end. We now need to populate the result array. In order to form the different ordered pairs, we need to traverse each array. For that, we can make use of a loop. Let's use a for loop to traverse array 1 and another for loop to traverse array 2. So for let i is equal to 0, i less than array 1 dot length, i plus plus. For let j is equal to 0, j less than array 2 dot length, j plus plus, result dot push. An array where the first element is array 1 of i and the second element is array 2 of j. What we are doing here is for each element in the first array, pairing with each element in the second array. The pair is then pushed into the result array. And that pretty much is our code to find the Cartesian product of two sets. Let's run the code and verify if it works as expected. You can see we have 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 2, 3, 2, 4, and 2, 5, which is the expected output. Now what is the time complexity of our function? Well, we have two for loops. From our experience so far, you might think that the time complexity is O of n square, or quadratic. But a very important difference from what we have seen earlier is that the two arrays are not of the same length. Array 1 is of length n and array 2 is of length m. They could be of the same length, but they can also be different. So the time complexity in this case, is O of m times n. It is dependent on the length of both array 1 and array 2. If the length are equal, then it would be O of n square. A small yet noticeable point to keep in mind, which is why I wanted to include this problem in the miscellaneous section. In the next video, let's take a look at the climbing staircase problem. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.